Good morning. Good morning. And I welcome you all to this time of worship with United Lutheran Church. Welcome to those of you who are our guests in worship this morning. We are glad to have you here with us today. We welcome those also who join us through Facebook Live and through our radio broadcast. It is good to be gathered together in worship today. This morning, our radio broadcast is given by Sue Thompson in honor of the Evangelism Committee and volunteers for another successful party on the blacktop. And thank you to all of you who participated in throwing a great party for our neighbors. Today, as we have already had a little foretaste of, it is a celebratory Sunday at United Lutheran Church, a hymn sing is Sunday. Alan Kui, who, uh, whose gifts and person we have all come to appreciate, is serving this morning as the organist and the coordinator of this worship event. And it is also an honor to welcome as our guest this morning in worship, the members of Northern Plains Brass. And will you join me in welcoming them today? <laughs> and thank you also this morning to United's Cathedral Choir under the direction of Michael Marcotte. What a feast of musical gifts we are offered in our worship this morning. In your worship bulletins, there are announcements throughout the week we seek to live, learn, and share the love of Jesus Christ. Our fundraisers that we began last week are continuing, and there's still opportunity to participate in those. There's an M&M fundraiser for St. Joe's Food Pantry. It's our goal to help replenish empty food shelves and you can still pick them up, the, the M&Ms at both doors, and there's baskets to return them. And if you didn't bring them today, please bring them by next Sunday. Also, Nicolette Carabu is a member of United Lutheran Church who is, has been diagnosed with a cancerous brain tumor. We're, doing, um, we're joining in the support for Nicolette and her family. Donations can be given in a box here, and there's also uh, Nicolette Strong bracelets for us to, uh, to take and wear as a sign of support for Nicolette. Next Sunday morning, September 25th, we look forward to sharing the gift of Bibles with our preschoolers, third graders, and sixth graders during our worship service. There's a new Bible study started this morning on the book of Revelation, everything you always wanted to know but were afraid to ask. Sounds like a pretty bold invitation to me, and you can still join in the study on Sunday mornings at 9 a.m. I'm looking forward to coffee and devos on, on Wednesday morning at 10.30. And on Thursday of this week, United will be serving a barbecue dinner at Northland Rescue Mission. It'll be taking place from 5 to 7 p.m. We need volunteers to make it happen. And you can join uh, in service by scanning the QR code there to sign up, or there's a sign up right outside this door as well. With those announcements made, our worship continues as we join our hearts and voices in song and praise. Please rise.
excited to get started this morning. I jumped ahead with the welcome and announcements, so as long as we're all standing, let's join in our next hymn.
The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And please join me in praying our prayer of the day. Gracious God, we long to see you clearly, yet our vision is clouded by the sin and brokenness of our world. Breathe your creating spirit into our hearts, lives, and world. We praise you for the talents of musicians and all who take part in the arts. Through their gifts, give us new awareness of your glory and grace. Stir us to take our part in creating beauty in our world through lives of love and justice. Lift our voices to join in the chorus of praise of you and service to all neighbors. Through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. And please be seated.
prayer of the day. Excuse me. The psalm. Please read responsively. Make a joyful noise to the Lord, all you lands. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come into God's presence with a song. Know that the Lord is God, our maker to whom we belong. We are God's people and the sheep of God's pasture. Enter the gates of the Lord with thanksgiving and the courts with praise. Give thanks and bless God's holy name. Good indeed is the Lord whose steadfast love is everlasting, whose faithfulness endures from age to age. The first reading is taken from Hebrews chapter 10, verses 23 through 25. Let us hold fast to the confession of our hope without wavering, for he who has promised is faithful. And let us consider how to provoke one another to love and good deeds, not neglecting to meet together as is the habit of some, but encouraging one another and all the more as you see the day approaching. Word of God, word of life. Shining in the eyes of every child And in the flame of dawn reflecting on the open sea In every fury and every love You are awake child who cannot breathe or the gentle sage who won't see the age of 32 
I think everybody needs the opportunity to watch the choir and Michael from this perspective. It is very entertaining, and thank you for the beautiful music. The gospel for today is taken from Matthew chapter 6, verses 25 through 33. Therefore, I tell you, do not worry about your life, what you will eat or what you will drink, or about your body, what you will wear. Is not life more than food and the body more than clothing? Look at the birds of the air. They neither sow nor reap nor gather into barns, and yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Are you not of more value than they? And can any of you by worrying add a single hour to your span of life? And why do you worry about clothing? Consider the lilies of the field, how they grow, they neither toil nor spin. Yet I tell you, even Solomon in his glory was not clothed like one of these. But if God so clothes the grass of the field, which is alive today and tomorrow is thrown into the oven, will he not much more clothe you, you of little faith? Therefore do not worry, saying, What will we eat, or what will we drink, or what will we wear? For it is the Gentiles who strive for all these things, and indeed your heavenly Father knows that you need all of these things. But strive first for the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things will be given to you as well. Word of God, word of life.
This morning on this Hymn Sing Sunday, we are reminded of the beauty and goodness in the world and the one who is the source of it all. Many of you are familiar with Fred Rogers, better known as Mr. Rogers. Rogers was the creator and host of the well-known children's television series, Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood, which ran from 1968 to 2001. Rogers was known for paying attention to the inner lives of children. He helped children to feel loved and valued. And he also was willing to talk to children about difficult subjects, topics that could be scary, topics that most adults avoided with children. Fred Rogers famously said, when I was a boy and I would see scary things in the news, my mother would say to me, look for the helpers. You will always find people who are helping. For all of us, not only children, life at times is scary. There's so much both within us and around us that can stir up fear. The pain and the wrong in this world, in our lives and in the lives of people we know and love, well, at times it can leave us undone. In the face of all of this, how do we keep living with some joy and some purpose? Fred Rogers said, look for the helpers. For when we start looking for the helpers, it opens our eyes and our hearts to know that there's more than violence and hate and hurt. There is also in this world beauty and goodness and love and generosity. This Sunday morning we're being treated to a rich feast of music, splendid hymns, gifted musicians, and the opportunity for all of us to join our voices in song. And it serves to remind us, I think, that we are not alone and that together we're able to create what we cannot by ourselves. Music and the arts, they remind us, they wake us up to a greater reality. Makoto Fujimari, in his book, Silence and Beauty, says, we fail to see the divine in the earth already active and working, pouring forth grace and spilling glory into our lives. Artists, whether they are professed believers or not, tap into this grace and glory. Martin Luther also saw God at work powerfully in music. Luther said, the devil flees before the sound of music almost as much as before the word of God. As Jesus walked on our earth, he pointed us to the created world, to the things that we can see and hear and touch to make us aware of that which we cannot see, the presence of God among us here and now. Jesus said, look at the birds of the air, look at the lilies of the field. For these things focus our attention on what is unseen and eternal, the God who cares for and values each life. So today, friends, my hope and my prayer for you is that today in this hymn sing worship, the music resonates deep within you, that it renews in you some joy that you might dare to sing with all your heart, joining your voices to others. And even more, my hope and my prayer is that the beauty of the music reminds you that there is beauty and goodness and joy in this world. For God is with us, and God calls us to be creators of beauty, justice, and joy.
our service continues with our offering. Would you please stand? Let us pray. Blessed are you, O God, maker of all things. Through your goodness, you have blessed us with these gifts. 
ourselves, our time, and our possessions. Use us and what we have gathered to share your goodness with the world, that we might be for the world signs of your gracious presence in Jesus Christ, our Savior. Amen. As scattered grains of wheat are gathered together into one bread, so let us gather our prayers for the church, those in need, and for all of God's good creation. God of creation, we give you thanks for the good gift of music, which expresses the whole range of human emotion and lays at your feet for you to bring beauty and wonder into our world. Bless all musicians with your love and grace for the work of your kingdom, God of grace. Divine teacher, you instruct your children to be responsible stewards of your creation. Show us how best to care for the earth and its resources and to guide those who work to develop sustainable practices. God of grace, ruler of the nations, you direct those in authority. Give leaders wisdom and compassion so that all may live in peace. Inspire public servants to follow the example of courageous leaders and to safeguard the dignity of each person. God of grace, helper of the needy, you lift up those who are oppressed. Breathe justice into the economic and social systems that perpetuate poverty and hunger. Sustain food ministries, clothing banks, and emergency shelters. Care for all those who are in need of any kind. Especially this day, we uplift before you Ren Kinseth, Mariah Kleiner, Margie Gabrielson, Sue Thompson, Nicolette Carview, and we also pray for Carolyn McWick upon the death of her mother, Joanne Johnson. God of grace, sustainer and giver of life, you bless this congregation with abundance. Instruct us in the proper and faithful use of wealth and resources that we share generously. God of grace. Gather together in the sweet communion of the Holy Spirit, gracious God. We offer these and all our prayers to you through Jesus Christ, our Savior. Amen. Lord, remember us in your kingdom and teach us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated.
At this time, I would like us to turn it around and face our balcony and give a final word of thanks for our musicians and for the beautiful music they provided for us today. Thank you very much. Would you please stand for the final best blessing? God, who gives life to all things and frees us from despair, bless you with truth and peace, and may the Holy Trinity, one God, stir up in you life, a life of faith, hope, and love. Amen. Go in peace with Christ beside you. And we close our worship with a hymn, 660.